Thank you and welcome everyone. My name is Sunil Seidler. I'm the product owner of the solution documentation in SAP Cloud LM for implementation. So today I would like to talk about what we plan in order to make your documentation all available in Cloud LM and how to uh, how, what functionality will come going forward. So just be reminded that we are looking at it in the future and things can be subject to, ch uh, subject to change. So here, um, a short disclaimer. Okay, now let's uh, get started. First of all, I would like to introduce the topic a little bit, then talk about what we already uh, made available for functionalities around notes, and then talk about what uh, we plan for documentation in SAP Cloud ALM. Then I will give a little uh, yeah, preview on how this will look like and also share the roadmap for the future with you. Okay, let's dig into the topic. So if you know Cloud ALM already a little bit, you know we have quite some elements within the project already. So you have the timeline, you have the team, the users, you have the scope with the processes, uh, your fit, uh, your fit and gap uh, results, uh, the requirements, uh, maybe resulting user stories, project tasks, etc. And all of these areas already include some kind of documentation. So the process description coming from best practice, or maybe your own process description. Um, the requirements include business needs that are not covered by the processes right now. The user stories maybe describe how these gaps were, um, were uh, Kind, kind of completed in a, in a software sense. And then the test case is how the process is being executed going forward. And also the feature might describe what changes were made in uh, the different project uh, phases. So there is a lot um, already around documentation. And we also introduced the object called notes uh, previously, which you can add to the process or you can create independently and add documentation, all kinds of documentation to your project. However, we also understand that there is documentation and process descriptions that should have a longer life cycle than just the project. Yeah, so that it's being available for future projects, for upgrades, and also different projects might share documentation. So that's why we also want to make sure that this information is created during the project, but also taken into uh, the future and available in Cloud ALM. What are our objectives around solution documentation or documentation in Cloud ALM? Well, we, make it, we want to make it really easy to create, manage, reuse, or even find documentation. We would like to have really uh, or en enable you to make all this documentation directly in the tool. But we also know that external documentation, it might be shared on servers or SharePoints or other uh, document management systems. And also these would like to be included into the project or referenced. You want to find the information, you want to maybe work collaboratively on documents. Um, and also as part of the project, track the completeness of certain documents and maybe document types and templates that you need in order to get this documentation running. Import of pre-delivered content is very important because you might work with a partner which comes with their own process or uh, requirements documentation as a preload. And you want to export this for, uh, for documentation reasons, for blueprinting or all kinds of uh, yeah, versioning. So here, these are our objectives, what we would like to tackle with the documentation functionalities in Cloud LM. So we already started last year with extending the existing functionality around notes. What we did is, first of all, we allowed references. References are just very simple URLs, so links to external documents or, or, or storages or maybe just websites uh, that can be referenced within a note. You can add multiple references to a note. You can name uh, these references and this gives you the chance to add the links maybe to external documents, again, project SharePoints, or even HTML pages, wikis, whatever you have. So this helps you already to start your single source of truth. But we know that URLs are just a very simple, but maybe right now effective way, effective way to start here. Next to this, you also have the description to document with rich text editor, uh, your document 
patient information directly into the tool. Um, also, we are adding, uh, we added the option to do tag uh, notes. So it's then easier to categorize them, uh, to find maybe notes, uh, or if you use tags already in other elements, it's easy to find which documents belongs to which element. So they, again, can be freely defined by the customer um, on also references and tags can be exported in an Excel export. So at the end of the, doc, uh, of the project, you might just want to export all of this information to keep it elsewhere. So these are the functionality that we created. Um, but now for 2023, we actually have um, quite some things planned. So let's dig into this topic. First of all, this um, document object that we would like to introduce should really be your central object within Cloud LM to add all kinds of documentation. That's why we will enrich it with more functionality. So next to the notes, which will be at a certain point of time migrated to this document object, um, here we will allow functionality like history, export, import, as I mentioned, uh, status of these document objects, add them to analytics, relate them to other elements, etc. And again, this is the, um, this is the uh, um, approach of documenting everything directly in cloud ALM. For cloud customers, that's a, it's a natural given. However, we also know to make this a central source of truth, there might be the need to uh, include external documents that are stored elsewhere. For this, we are actually now um, adding also functionality for managing external documents. First level will be, as I mentioned before, with uh, similar like the, with the notes, we are adding references. So here you can just add URLs to external documents uh, stored somewhere and with a, uh, combined with a name, it gives you the chance to reference them. As a second step, we will allow integration to DMS uh, solutions. Uh, one could be the SharePoint, which uh, is uh, heavily used by a lot of customers. Another one is also the uh, SAP um, document management solutions via the BTP, which is available. And here we will also allow an integration so documents can be stored next to S4HANA and other documents you already manage in your SAP DMS. So that's uh, an important step. However, we will try to make documentation object and the documentation functionality within the tool as nice and possible to be used so you can maybe uh, get rid of external documentation. What do we need to do for that? Well, this new document object needs first of all needs status. So we will introduce status values. We also will, use, will introduce at a certain point of time a version. Um, uh, when you create new objects, you will have like a draft version. And then at a certain point of time, you will publish this, you will get a version number, etc. A document itself will, uh, or we will allow them to define document types. And certain document types, you even might want to create your own document types based on certain templates. Yeah, so this will improve the way a project uh, works with documents given that maybe a solution design document uh, has always the same chapters and it's easier for all the consultants to maintain the same information. Then again, we will introduce certain uh, relations to other elements like the requirement, the process, uh, test cases, user stories, features. So you can add your document elements, documentation to all kinds of elements within Cloud L ALM already. However, the documents can still then be uh, looked at in the document app. Just here, you maintain the relation to elements you already have as part of the project. And then you have some certain functionality. So our document will have an ID, an owner, maybe ex extend this to other uh, re um, users that need to be informed if a document is changed. Hi um, hierarchy notes, I come to this a little bit later. Again, references, uh, some administrative data, like who created it, when, when was it changed last. This also helps to find your documents easier. Again, also history to go back to older versions and see who has changed what, what version. Okay, so this is all what we plan. However, this comes incrementally. So we will start in, um, yeah, 
probably in the first half year to introduce this document object and then uh, more functionality will be added constantly going through the year. Okay, um, there's one topic I also want to mention. Um, I get this question a lot, so how do I organize my documents? And you might not know it yet, but uh, we will introduce shortly uh, what we call a process hierarchy, a custom process hierarchy. So customers actually can create their own process structure, um, organizing their processes, but also their documents. So you can, uh, you can uh, decide if you want to just freely add your documents in your structure um, or if you add them to certain elements like the process. So giving this process hierarchy, we will then allow documents to be again linked to processes, for example. And because a process is linked to a certain hierarchy element, we can inherit this hierarchy ID and that makes it easier to organize documents. And a document can also be linked to not just one hierarchy node. For example, it's part of this modular process description. But then because it's API information, maybe you want to structure it all in a separate folder called API. And here the document can be referenced again. Again, we're just talking about one, ref one, one document which is referenced in two different locations. So this will be possible as well. Let's look at how this now could feel for the user. Let's start maybe as an example in the uh, fit to standard workshops. So let's say as, as part of a requirement, there is now a need. Well, first of all, in the, in the requirement, there might be some information, some description required why a certain requirement is needed in order to do the approval. Now, let's say if the requirement is approved, now this, the, the documentation journey starts. And here we have then the chance to create a certain type of document directly from the requirement. So let's say here as part of the requirement, um, it's defined that we need to have a solution design document for this process. If you select here then the solution design document, um, it's, again, it's being added here to the requirement. So you can see by just creating it directly out of the requirement, we already established the link to the requirement itself. And now whoever is making changes knows that this document, that this changes should be made in the central documentation element. We also see here that the documentation element can have a different status than the requirement. And then because the requirement was related to a certain solution process, we also see that this document is now visible on the process itself. So everyone can now have access to the documentation, uh, not really needing to go through the document to the requirement element. So here we already kind of pre-think to make it easier to really work on these central documents. Now we will also have for sure like a central documentation app. This helps you to really look at uh, all your documents. Maybe you have some favorites. Maybe you want to search for documents you are working on or which have been changed in a certain uh, period of time. Uh, you can mass maintain may maybe certain elements and also again here look for documents in certain status or for a different process. So here you can create your views as you know it already in other from other requirements or um, um, or um, task applications where you can define your, your own views. So this helps you then to keep track of all your documentation centrally. Um, we also uh, will introduce the document and the relation to other elements as part of the analytics. So if you define that a certain requirement, uh, that a certain uh, process should have three or different types of documents, you can add these documents to the process. And in the process traceability, the, you can then see what documents are maintained here and how, what is the current status of these documents. So this helps you to also keep track of your documentation as part of your project analytics and make sure that all requirement documentation is done before you uh, change the status of a requirement before you release the process or deploy features. Okay, so there's a lot that's, that we have in plan. More information will be released as part of the, uh, the new yeah, functionality when it comes available. But let's look at the roadmap. What can you expect for this year and what can you expect beyond 2023? 
So as I mentioned before, we already introduced some extensions to the notes, the referencing and the tagging. Uh, in 2023, we will now introduce this new documentation object. And if you already use the notes functionality, you don't have to um, be worried because we will migrate the content from the notes in this new documentation, info, uh, documentation element. And then for sure, we, we plan to have the relations to the other elements. We in, will introduce uh, the integration to MS SharePoint and the SAP DMS integration. We also will allow different document types to be created, customer specific and excellent import content. Also, the analytics that I described is planned for 2023. And then beyond, when, once this uh, functionality is delivered, we will work on versioning, um, a template builder where you can define your own templates in Cloud ALM for your documentation types, certain workflows that you need to define uh, for your documents, maybe for approval processes and things like collaboration, blueprint reporting, but also digital signature and looking at the regulated environment. So as you can see, we really tackle the topic now of documentation in SAP Cloud ALM. And I'm very happy that you can join this journey. And I hope I, uh, yeah, I find you in future uh, releases where I can share some of these functionalities then being live in the system. So thank you at that time um, for your interest and uh, happy to get any feedback, questions is my email. So please get in touch and yeah, stay tuned for a lot of functionality for 2023 around documentation in SAP Cloud ALM for implementation.